What the madness is happening here in Sao Paulo during Carnival? This is a random street party right by my hotel. They woke me up at six in the morning. from Sao Paulo. Another day here in the beautiful city of Brazil. So this is actually our first day waking up over here. And man, this morning was tough because it's carnival season. So the whole entire street has been like just partying after partying after partying. People from all over the world come for this. Now this is Sao Paulo, so you're not gonna get the insane commotion <laughs> in the real eyes, but it's not far from it though. So. Our hotel got secured here so people don't walk too close to the lobby. And basically we need to get an, an Uber. But since that street is closed, we don't really know what's going to happen here. We may have to cancel the ride and get a new one because I'm not sure that this guy will actually be able to pick us up. Yeah, it's closed. It's closed. So that's one of the things, you know, when you come to Brazil during carnival season, <laughs> on top of... Uh, Tough prices with the hotel, where everything literally like quadruples or five times more the price that you would normally pay. You have to deal with a tremendous amount of freaking nightmare when it comes to like road closures and things like that. So you see all the, the streets are closed. So like how to navigate? I think I think we should cross right here and then go from there. Man, how'd you sleep, man? First day waking not up bad, in this beautiful bad, country. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah? I didn't go that hard, but yeah, I was just... I took a nap earlier in the day, so that actually helped me. And then for me, believe it or not, when I get into a country, I'm just running on adrenaline and so excited just to be here. You know what I mean? Sleep is not even a thing that I even think about. Yeah. You feel me? So, nah, I'm good, man. Yeah. I'm good. I'm rejuvenated. I'm home, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, this <laughs> is enough for me, bro. Oh, you know man. That's funny. Yeah. What's your first impression of Brazil so far? First time here, so your opinion matters more than ours because we've been here before. Ah, yeah, y'all live here. <laughs> um, it's definitely a culture shock. That's one thing. In what sense? Nah, it's just too it's many just high girls for you. Nah, in one place at one time. Different, bro. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. Yeah, the women are pretty. Yeah, yeah. are pretty gorgeous. Um, but yeah, it's just everything. It's hot out here. What of the top? <laughs> of your head, like Colombia, Brazil, first impression. And I know you spend more time in Colombia, so you have more knowledge about that place, but like just right off the bat, what strikes you as the main difference? Because very, people like to talk about this subject, Colombia versus Brazil. <laughs> so I'm curious, like after uh, just barely a day, what you think? Brazil is up there. Yeah, Brazil is higher. <laughs> I mean, compared to what's going on with the two, but like Brazil is, seems like it's safer out here. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely safer. I think we're yeah. right here. You know what I mean? Because cars are coming, so at least we share the live location. Yeah. She can come, come, come scoop us from over here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they can pick us up from there. Yeah, I think, I think, I think we should be able to get picked up. We can wait right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We can, yeah, we can wait right here. Yeah, it's just, it's just day one. You know, now it's day two. Day one was, God, I just you know get used to it, get accustomed to it, feel it, feel the vibe. Now yeah. it's day two. We're gonna go hard. You said day one is all about lessons. It's lessons, yes. That's what I said. Day one is about lessons. Yeah. Taking all those L's. Right? Yeah. And then be like, all right, cool. Learn and from them the number one L, number one, I would say, is the SIM card issue, man. Like oh, this, yeah, it that's... sucks. Like you can't get a SIM card here. And then us having iPhones, like that's even more that's like worse, stressful. Yeah. Well, I haven't because... had an issue. So for, for me, um, I came in with the, the travel package already. So six What's days. What's the name of the app that you use so people can? Uh, yeah, check yeah, it yeah. Out. Let me show it to you guys. Just so. Um... So he's basically paying for a virtual SIM card from the U.S. He set it up, indicates on the app that he's going to Brazil. They give him the price based on how many gigs he wants or whatever. Yeah, it's called and, uh, uh, Airlo. Airlo, right here. 
That's so, the one right here, right? Yeah, okay, right over so, here. Hello. And then you can select, as you can see, you scroll up and down the countries yeah. that you want to go to. Boom, yeah. Brazil is where we're at right now. Okay. And then from there, you can select what type of package you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seven days, how long you're going to be here. Two gigs over there. I just did the 30 days because for $11, you know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong. Right. That's and the so beer, far, bro. is it working pretty good for you? So far, yeah, man. I mean, everything's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, so just need to have a phone that's compatible with electric SIMs. Yeah. Like eSIMs. Yeah. Not all phones are compatible with eSIMs. And there's a reason why he's saying not all phones are compatible. How old is your phone? Yeah, it's old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> My phone is like, what, 10 years old? You gotta, you gotta tip the numbers like the rotary and just go like this. Hey, man, <laughs> listen. <laughs> that's what got the roll rotor. I have a backpack. You know them suitcase joints? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's my cell phone right there. Yeah. Go man, this girl almost got hit by the car, man. She was like, on the road. Uh, they can't, the driver can't. Man, the driver's on. Driver. So why don't you get another phone? I will. It's just not a priority. Man. Like I said, I only need two things out of there. Yeah. To receive and send. Thanks. Right. That's it. Receive yeah. and send. Yeah. I wish I could say that, man, because I'm, I'm like trapped in this Apple cycle. I always feel the need to upgrade every year. You see, and I'm not part I don't want to do that. I'm not part I don't of that hamster wheel. Yeah, bro. yeah, no, you're I'm right. Good. You're smart though, because this year I decided I'm not upgrading. Mm -hmm. I don't care what they come up with. I read they're coming up with a flipping uh, an iPhone you can actually flip. You flip? Up. Well, man, I'm not doing that. Well, that's, that's, us Androids, we've had that flip since freaking the Razor, the Motorola <laughs> Razor, man. Uh, <laughs> Y'all getting it now? We had that shit. Yeah, Apple is a little bit behind. Yeah. 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 And Samsung got their own flip too, so shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an Android fan. So oh, you are? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a Our driver canceled on us? Yeah, of course. I think I'm not surprised. That happens a lot. In I'm not surprised. Yeah, so exactly. we need to, I will actually say, let's walk a couple of blocks and go somewhere no, where traffic. No, coming in two minutes. Ten minutes? That's no, too long. Two minutes. Oh, two. two okay. Minutes. All right. So, guys, you can see people have like different costumes out here, but this is, again, this is not like the full thing. This is just like the, a regular street in Sao Paulo around the carnival season. That place is where they actually gather, and I don't know if we're gonna find them, but we're gonna try. Because they don't actually stay in one place, they move around and around and around. <laughs> Uh, and you just have to pray that they don't walk by your hotel because, man, you're going to oh, wake man, up. Oh, man, we, we heard that shit. 7 a.m. Yeah, right boom, there. Boom, yeah, boom, boom. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? I know. It's yeah, crazy. That shit woke me up. It's Good crazy, time. man. Yeah. Like, you would think they start, like, in the afternoon, man. They start early. In the early. Morning. In the morning. You know? That was at 6 a.m. That was a shock. I was like, oh, I was not expecting this. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's funny. So now I'm rolling on a little bit of sleep. That's why I need to take a nap later. Yeah, but how you yeah. feel? How, how you feel when this right now? When this breeze hits you, you look up in this beautiful sun. You get this nice cool. It ain't really hot, hot out here. You know what I'm saying? Today is not hot. Today. No, yeah, no, today is so. not that hot. Yeah. You got shorts on, right? What more can you ask for, bro? Nah, there's only one thing that gives me energy, but I'll, if I right. see it, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll become a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not able to actually get picked up on this side. So we're going to cross the street party. You can see they're coming this way. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a vibe of what's going on. And then we're going to call the Uber the other side. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Our hotel is, ooh, it's a bad location. It's a bad location for this because ah. the noise, man, the we noise are, is crazy. We are in it. Oh, you got to show them, right? Yeah. That's like right here in our hotel. Right? Yeah, this is our hotel, like right there. And this is where all of this is going on. We are in it. <laughs> you know? So, you can't have, you can't have a worse location. <laughs> or a good location, I guess, if you like to party. I guess, Then it's yeah. a good location. So they close the streets and these people actually just walk around. There's no preset destination. I mean, they just kind of follow the singers that are generally in the front of everybody.
Bumpers in the house, man. All right. So we're waiting for Mo. Now we found them, which is amazing to do in the middle of this street madness. These people do this every year. This is the culture. They do this non-stop, like every year. But it's not just Brazilian. There's a lot of tourists here too, who come from basically all over the world to come and enjoy. They buy the costume, they do their thing. It's a great vibe. Let's enjoy it. Where the bathrooms? But guess what? You go where you can go. <laughs> Some areas they have set up porta potties, like you can see over there. They have set up some porta potties in some places, but it's not always the case. Sometimes people just go wherever. I've seen that. It is what it is. So the whole thing is the vendors move with the crowd, you know, the, the ingenuity is like everybody just follows the musicians, you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you see how friendly people are right here, it's pretty cool. I do the bags. She was just trying to go eat breakfast, now look at us. <laughs> Cheers to the good life.
Maybe, maybe we're about to walk the hole. No,
get stuck among all the people walking that way. You see the crowd over there? You see the big crowd? We basically had to move away from that because that's the biggest difference I've seen so far. Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest difference that I've seen between Rio and Sao Paulo is that here, these block holes, because you're literally among buildings, you are stuck. There's no getting out. You know what I'm saying? Once you're in, you're in. So that's where everybody's going. You're kind of stuck, you know, on both sides. So there's a mall on that side, on the right. We were able to get in there, get some food, and enjoy a little bit of the air conditioning. It was just way too much. So if you're curious about the difference between Sao Paulo and Rio Carnival, I would say it's easier to run away in Rio. The streets are way more open. Here's a little bit more narrow. Other than that, the vibes are exactly the same. That's what it is out here in Sao Paulo. So now we are trying to find another place to eat. So my boy Kai right there can eat, man. He completely refused to eat with us, man. Sometimes the people, we're looking for a place to eat for you because you didn't want to eat with us, man. Yeah, that did not look appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a picky eater here. So we're moving away from the crowd. We can finally navigate. Here we go. Someone just stole my phone out there. Like right, they just grabbed it from behind Are me. Are you serious? Do you speak English? Everything that you can imagine happens here. 